Skinny Boy and Fat Man by Trevor, James, and Nathan. In the deep city of Fruitopia, the superhero fan club meeting was about to begin. In the small building where the meeting was, the two members sat down. Let's get down to business, said an extremely fat guy. We need a superhero name, said a skinny kid. How about I'm Skinny Boy and you're Fat Man? Sure, we need to fight evil just like our hero Mega Man. Now that we have superhero names, said Fat Man. Skinny Boy said, that's a great idea. Let's go fight bad guys right away. Fat Man and Skinny Boy ran right to the bank robbery to fight evil to two evil villains who were robbing banks called Pikachu and Mario. Pikachu and Mario were already carrying green bags of money through the brick halls of the bank. Hurry up, said Pikachu to Mario. We need to get out of here before we get caught by Mega Man. One second, said a voice behind a brick wall. Fat Man smashed through the wall, jumping into the scene as bricks went flying into cars. Let's fight, said the brave Fat Man. Do you really want to risk that, snarled the confident Pikachu. Pikachu shot two giant lightning bolts out of his cheeks and smoked Fat Man right in his face. He fell to the ground, rattling the marble floor in pain. Meanwhile, Skinny Boy was taking care of Mario as Mario pulled out an interesting looking flower from his pocket. He quickly ate the flower, he quickly ate the mar flower and Mario turned beet red and clear white. He stuck out his left hand and a tornado of flame came out of his palm. Skinny Boy then burst into flames and quickly ran to the water fountain while he was still burning like crazy. I'm here to help, said a man in blue with a red cape. Mario screamed in horror. Oh, Mamma Mia, it's the Mega Man. Ma Ma Mega Man shot two shot lasers out of his eyes, shooting at Pikachu and Mario, bursting the marble floor as the bank suddenly exploded. Mario and Pikachu fell to the ground with a thump. Mega Man handcuffed Mario and Pikachu, and the police took them away. Mega Man carried Fat Man to, and Skinny Boy to the hospital, but even with Mega Man's super strength, it was really hard to carry Fat Man. After about a week in the hospital, Skinny Boy and Fat Man recovered. We need to train harder, said a feeble Skinny Boy as he limped out of the hard hospital bed. I agree. Let's go to the gym and start training right away. An excited Fat Man said excited Fat Man as he walked down the out of the hospital doors. Fat Man and Skinny Boy went straight to the city gym. It was quite busy as men and women lifted weights and ran on the treadmill. Fat Man started to lift weights, but they were too heavy, so he fell over and got squished. Skinny Boy was not having much luck either, because they could not even lift a teddy bear. This, this is too difficult, said Skinny Boy. Well, while he, well, him and Fat Man were whining, a short Chinese guy then entered the gym. He had turned his attention to Fat Man and Skinny Boy, while they were struggling to work out. Who are you? said said Fat Man. My name, my name is Master Penguin, and I am the one who trains Boosie and Jackie Chan. May you allow me to teach you my awesome fighting skills? Yeah, sure. How hard can it possibly be? The kind of Skinny declared Skinny Boy to Fat Man. Fools who must have to sign this contract of agreement after this, there is no turning back, said Pang Wang. Definitely, said Fat Man, as he, as he signed the contract. Now y your first task is to fight a lion, said Pang Wang. What? You can't be serious, screamed Fat Man and Skinny Boy in horror. Fat Man, Skinny Boy, and Pang Wang went to the forest of lions near the city of Fruitopia. A lion walked out of the forest, its eyes glowing blood red and its golden fur rustling in the wind. You have to defeat this lion in ten minutes, said Bangwa. This is crazy, screamed Skinny Boy. The lion pounced at Skinny Boy and Fat Man and they just dodged the lion in time. The lion tore a tree in half with a single strike of its paw. Next, the lion attacked Skinny Boy, slashing at him as he fell to the ground. Skinny Boy was defeated. 
Then the lion attacked Fat Man and blasted him into a tree with a thud, leaving Fat Man unconscious. Skinny Boy and Fat Man woke up in Penguin's temple. The temple was all colors of the rainbow and was very, very beautiful. The temple was huge, and at the front entrance of the temple there was a dragon statue. I'm sorry to say this, Fat Man and Skinny Boy, but you were really bad at fighting, said Penguin. We will start your training right away. Fat Man and Skinny Boy ran laps around the city and did training exercises. They drank Penguin Strength Potion that would give them super strength, and the potion will last forever. Soon they were lifting weights in no time and were doing many hard tasks that the two of them never imagined they could do. You are almost ready to fight crime, but first you must fight the lion again, said Penguin. Fat Man and Skinny Boy went straight to the forest where the lion was waiting for round two of the battle. We are going to beat you this time, yelled Fat Man and Skinny Boy. The lion roared at the top of his lungs, and the lion jumped at Fat Man and Skinny Boy. Fat Man punched the lion in the face. Before it even got to the two of them, and the lion went flying into a tree landing in poison ivy. The lion was very itchy, so he scratched and scratched himself until all his hair fell off. The lion ran away crying. We did it, said Fat Man. You are ready to fight evil, said Penguin. Here are your superhero suits. Skinny Boy's suit was yellow and red, with a golden S on it. Fat Man's suit was green and black, with a white colored cape. One week later, they both saw the news on TV. Mega Man lost the battle to Shrek and Squidward, so they suited up. Immediately, they ran to a jewel shop. We defeated Mega Man, laughed the evil green man of Shrek. Load those diamonds quickly, said a grumpy Squidward. We are here to save the day, said Fat Man and Skinny Boy as they jumped onto the concrete floor of the jewel shop. Mega Man looked surprised as he sat on the concrete floor defeated. You think you can defeat me, said Shrek. In fact, we do, said Fat Man as he jumped onto Shrek, both of them wrestling each other on the concrete floor and broke the car register. Money, cash register. <laughs> Money fell out of the yellow machine like green rain. Get off me, screamed Shrek, as Fat Man sat on Shrek, not letting him escape. Meanwhile, Skinny Boy was fighting with Squidward. Time to meet your doom, said the confident Squidward. Squidward shot ink out of his mouth at extreme speeds. Not so fast, said Skinny Boy as he dodged the pieces of ink flying at him. The ink hit a car and it went into flames as pieces of scrap metal went flying in all directions, hitting buildings and trees. That's some pretty powerful juice, said a surprised Skinny Boy, but I'm not done yet. Yeah, yeah, get on with it, said Squidward. My favorite TV show is on right now. Squidward shot another piece of ink out of his mouth right at Skinny Boy. But at that moment, Skinny Boy grabbed a broken piece of marrow off the ground of the shop. The piece of ink went right at him, but it hit the marrow, reflecting the ink on it, hitting Squidward in the face. He fell to the ground, knocked out, but still alive. I I did it, yelled the satisfied skinny boy as he jumped into the air. Are you done yet, fat man? Done before you, said fat man as he walked over to skinny boy, giving him a high five. Who are you, said mega man as he sat on the ground defeated. Just everyday superheroes, fat man and skinny boy said as they flew off into the distance, proud that they saved the day. The end.